Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's layout, we are doing a 12 by 12 using the beautiful Coco Daisy um, from the Garden Collection. And I have this eight by 10, or eight probably and a half by 11 uh, photo of me and Miguel. And I can't even tell, this is, this is a not recent photo. Um, but I've had it printed sitting in a folder on my desk of pictures to scrap. And I printed this one big, so I probably wanted to use it in my six by eight, but also I think because the eight by 10, I mean, I still could have, you know, cause I always worry about how much I got had to cut off to be um, in that album outside the page protector. But since I have it so big, I had an idea of cutting it into a circle. And I made this eight inch circle using this fancy dancy um, cutter that I hauled not too long ago, so rather recently, to get bigger circle cuts than just using my die machine. So an eight inch one, you know, you're never gonna have a die this big. And so when I do eight inches, it hits edge to edge here, and then I get all of Miguel's head and all of my head. So the only thing is I think I was going down just a little bit so that it didn't cut me off like right under my chin, you know, just to give me a little bit more neck and just cut off some of his head there. Haven't decided yet, but you know, around there, maybe just a little bit of his hair. So that it's circle. And then mat it with this photo, this paper, this nice mint green, which is the back side of this. And then wherever that goes, I want to see which one I like better because these both have the edge done. So the circle would fit, you know, as so, which is perfect. And it's pretty much done for you because I don't have to do any of that embellishing because the illustration is there. Or it could look fantastic on this one as well. So let's cut it out. Let's use this little thing and hopefully I won't mess up the print because I did this on just scratch paper and we'll see if I can recreate it. And then audition out which of the pattern papers it looks best on. I have all of the embellishments ready to go sitting over here. Let me grab them. So I have the washi tape, the alphas, the enamel dots, the die cuts, the chipboard and the wood veneer. They're all ready to go. And then the only thing I know is that there's only this alpha or this alpha. And I feel like both are a little bit too small for a title. So I did pull some like Maggie Holmes things, you know, maybe just use Happy Day here. Or I have this one, um, maybe like Be Mine or Hugs and Kisses. Or this one also I thought the Delightful could look really nice too. So we just don't have a big title with this kit, but we will figure out one. And let's get started. Okay, so I am using the circle cutter from We Are Memory Keepers. There needs to be a better tutorial on how to use this thing, especially just to kind of find like, where do you place it where you know where you want your center? Um, not that I butchered the photo at this point, but I definitely could not recreate it. You know, like I did it on this, the copy paper and I was like, okay, great, I, I made it, but like it didn't do it. You see it's like off kilter where it chewed up the right side, but not the left. And I'm like, so where is center? Like, you know, when you're figuring it out, and I did it pretty good, as you can see, but it definitely did not. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to ruin everything, and I don't want to print this again. So in the end, I just took that that one I cut out already and just traced it on the back and hand cut it out because I was definitely afraid of having <laughs> this thing. Yeah, see? Okay, I did take the gamble. See, I've used it a couple times, and I'm just kind of like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to ruin it. So here I am. Like I said, I was trying to get it lined up, and I was trying to get the edge of the blade lined up where it would kind of make contact, but then I had to adjust it, and I was like, I'm not sure, like, how to create the center. Like, you would think just put that mint green ball where you want the center of your circle and it just it's off a little bit so I need to play with it a little bit it didn't butcher it completely but I figured it out in the end and I do just kind of hand cut it and trace it because I was like I'm gonna ruin my picture I've used it a couple times since then I'm still figuring it out I have looked up a YouTube video for we are many keepers circle cutter and it is the briefest thing and it just tells you the basic features and really no like how to guides on like where to place it to get center and where to do it. it tells you how to adjust it for the circle I wanted and I wanted an eight inch circle and that's as far as I got so here I am like I said just doing it as best I can with the circle that I cut out and with an exacto knife and I was able to get it because I was not trusting that um <laughs> that cutter um anyways so once I have it the circle cutter cut the circle cut out I do the same thing to get it matted with another piece of paper from the 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 collection and I do it on a green border that way it has a little bit more of color 
um, on the circle. And this time when I did it, since I, did, I was just cutting in the middle of a 12 by 12, I was like, it doesn't matter um, about the center and being, I just need a piece of this. So I just kind of laid it in the center of a 12 by 12. So that one's at eight and a quarter probably for a mat. And that looked perfect the way it is with this illustrated paper. Both of them would have worked out great. I just went more with the one with the flowers because you know me and flowers and love that. So you could have stopped there. And so I'm looking through the rest of the ephemera and I'm like, okay, where am I going to do my cluster? And there is that kind of negative space up top. And so while I am auditioning out them all the way around the photo itself I didn't like it because it got lost too. the the, the paper is so de detailed already that I was like Ugh, you can barely see the wood veneers so I started to make a cluster right in that negative space on that upper right corner above my head and that started to work out better than trying to scatter them around I just was concentrating one photo cluster one photo cluster, <laughs> one embellishment cluster um that kind of had all the pieces we had a wood veneer we had chipboard we had the washi stickers we had the die cuts and i eventually put in the enamel dots as well that seemed to work out just right uh, for this uh, particular layout and to add some bling bling you know what i mean then when it comes down to the title though the title i you know i'm thinking about once i'm doing the cluster i'm like where am i going to put the title and in this kit, we only have the light blue, tinier alpha, like a puffy sticker alpha. And I think I, what I was thinking about, I was like, that's not going to really show unless I put the alpha like right on the photo. But since it's a light blue, I was worried about the contrast and stuff. So I do sort of start fishing through my stash, as you saw me pull already a couple packs of the thickers. And I do go with a title that's kind of... um. Uh, gold embossed puffy stickers that says here and now I believe or then and now no it says here and now in the end uh, that worked out great just because it was and then the other thought I did have sorry I cut my thought off was like I can take another um, pattern paper right and cut out alphas because I do have a lot of alpha die cuts and stuff um, but in the end I didn't do that as well I think because once again the paper was uh, heavily illustrated that I felt like they would have gotten lost anyway on the page so that was my rhyme and reason behind the title building here I am right now on the footage is just popping it up on on fun foam this is fun foam I get from Walmart it's self-adhesive back so I always usually do that to the photo and then on this side to adhere it to my project I add it with liquid glue liquid glue usually works better than doing double-sided tape um, on the foam itself that's just in my experience um this one works well this is just a nouveau glue the other one that works really well is the beacon fabri-tac believe it or not that one works really well to adhere the foam onto paper um, there's no particular <laughs> paper that glue that works per se on that but i do my best so once again that photo cluster is looking luscious and great up in that corner and i think it's it does it well for lending itself to an area for the eye to go and then looking at the big large photo and then you see the gorgeous illustration that the paper provides so i do go with this like i said it's a gold puffy alpha putting the and in the center and i believe it says here and now yeah here and now and it's on the bottom it's gold it works you know <laughs> This collection is beautiful. Once again, this is in the garden from Coco Daisy for the month of May. You can still shop this collection. I will leave it linked down below. Um, some of it may be sold out, but it is available for the month of May. Okay, that will wrap up this layout. This came together so easily because of the big photo. The illustrated paper is gorgeous. Love what I got going on there as a huge embellishment cluster to anchor it down for some, occupying some of that negative space. And then here and now I went with instead of delightful, I just thought it took up a little bit more real estate and it's gold and it's like, you know, can complement it and then scattered those glittery enamel dots all over there just for added interest. Looks perfect. And actually, do you think it needs some Heidi shine? And don't get me wrong, this... This needs a learning curve. I I messed up a lot. You saw that. I left the footage in here just so that you know. This is not an easy tool. I thought I was lining it up with the eight inches to be perfect, but you saw it get chopped up and I'm going to have to be okay with it because you can see some of that slice mark was still there. I was like, you know what? I can still savage it. I didn't, I didn't press too hard. You see that right there? Um, learning curve i need to practice more with this so i can understand it so i think i will add a little bit of the heidi shine and then this will be complete 
Thank you so much for joining me. I will leave the scrapbooking kit linked down below. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. If you are familiar with my channel, thank you always for spending some time with me. Give this video a thumbs up. It always helps the YouTube algorithm for new people to find my channel. And until next time, my crafty friends, there's the gold splatter. <laughs> Bye.